Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to another video tutorial. Here I'll be showing you how to zoom objects in CorelDRAW. Alright, it's very simple and very very easy to do. Okay, as I've shown you how to zoom objects, I'll be showing you a few other tricks relating to zooming of objects here in CorelDRAW in such a way that you will understand. So, um, to do so, um, the shortcut key for the zoom tool is Z, Z. So you just tap on Z on the or click on Z on your mouse on your keyboard sorry then um this the zoom icon appears here so um you just drag maybe just drag whichever parts you want to do and um also you can make use of the scroll wheel on your mouse like I'm doing now then um, you scroll forward to zoom in and you scroll backward to <coughs> zoom out hope is understood scroll forward make use of your scroll wheel on your mouse to scroll forward to zoom in and scroll backward to zoom out and um, also this is where the zoom tool is located here so the shortcut key is there like I said so and um, another way to zoom is um is to hold on the is to hold on control and plus that is to zoom in control plus and to zoom out control plus minus okay and um, also and few other tricks too then um. You can zoom in again by um, selecting the zoom to here. Then um, you can just drag and um, zoom in. Then um, to I speak, if you notice clearly, the zoom tool has a plus sign in the middle. So um, you can change that to minus by holding on shift. Then you zoom. You just click. Or you just drag whichever one then it zooms out for you and um, to zoom in you just leave the shift and you just bring it here and um, a few other tricks again now is um you can make use of um, the property bar here select the zoom tool first then um see this area here it's even displayed it here to zoom in control plus then to zoom out control minus then um to zoom to selected area that is um shift plus f2 so you can um try that out using the shortcut key okay then um okay you can also make use of the standard bar here zoom level specify a magnificent magnification level so um let's take for instance um we zoomed out and we don't want to make use of the zoom tool so we just come to this area then we just select to fit then it brings it to fit on our screen here then let's take for instance um want to fit to page the difference is that um, it fits to page not it doesn't fit the design to the screen it fits this white area here to the page that is the page the drawing page and um to width this is what it does then um to height this is what it does then to 10 percent to 25 percent whichever one you want to achieve and um, also let's take for instance we have we have um, the design scattered all over your workspace here and you want everything to be on your screen and more visible so you can just double click on your zoom tool here so everything will appear on your screen so let's on to, let's do that again. So you, let, let's imagine they are here now. So you just 
double click on your zoom tool and then come to your screen whichever place they are being placed it can work it works for text and every other object too you just double click on your zoom tool here and also um This area zoom to page width is the same thing as um this here as I explained to width and if you see to page width this is 105% and to if you click on to page width it's still the same thing so whichever one works for you this is the property bar and this is the standard bar here and um one last one here let's take for instance you're working on a large file and um, you want to find some tiny objects hidden behind your design so you can come to this area here this area then you, you maybe can locate the objects here you can locate tiny objects here and um, I guess that is it on how to use the zoom tool or how to zoom objects in CorelDRAW and few other tricks I showed you. Alright, if you find this video helpful, do all to hit on the subscribe button, turn on post notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos, and don't forget to like, share, and comment on our videos. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next video tutorial.